Hello, collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart. Our platform is growing uh, so well, and I'm so grateful for all of your support. Let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on here. As you can see, we have the eight of source out here. This card is always alarming when it comes out in a spread for me. Uh, someone here is trapped in something that they created for themselves. This is either a masculine or a feminine energy that is trapped in something they intended for someone else. Someone has been doing a lot of things behind the scenes to interfere with another person forward movement, someone's income, someone's resources, connections, and things like that. And this person didn't believe or want to uh, believe that the truth would be coming out, right? but it has been exposed so as you can see we have the queen of cups and the queen of wands out here these are drastically two different people and i'm going to see this as two different women um so one of them is trying to trap a masculine with them um, because of resources this is not someone genuine this is someone that is dating a masculine that is uh of temperance energy right so this is like someone that's equal give and take someone that is balanced mentally and emotionally whereas this queen of wands is more so financially focused she's more focused on living the good life having luxury pieces and things like that living that superficial life right this is someone that comes off as independent um you wouldn't know that there's someone behind her that's financing her lifestyle she depends on her partner for her well-being and things like that this is not someone that works for what it is that they want in life this is just someone that relies on either men or whoever she's with to uh, finance her way of living right okay so someone here is trapped or someone could be going to prison. Let's remember that's a possibility as well. Someone could be going to prison because of something they said, something they did, a route that they choose in order to undercut someone. And this is someone from the past. And I think this is a masculine energy as well for some of you that did this. This person may have told a lot of lies even though they knew the truth about you. They went around telling a lot of lies to people so that people could see you in a specific light. This person wanted people to see you as someone that was careless, uh, loose, uh, unreliable, mentally unstable, delusional, things like that. But people are seeing you as someone very genuine. Um, it's like everything this person said about you is like a drastic different. It's contradictory. It's like day and night. So this is like someone putting in a whole lot of effort to go about telling people how you are this and you are that, you are this and you are that. And then, you know, people come and see you and they're like, wait, hold up. Something is just not adding up. The math is not mathing. The science is not sciencing. The logic is not logicing. So now we got to figure something out. And people are starting to see things for what it is. The, the reason this person did this is because they believe that if they betray you, manipulated people to see you in a light or something, they were going to gain some type of fin finances out of it. Or they were going to be able to block your forward movement. This is that someone being absolutely determined to block anyone from wanting to be with you, wanting to connect with you, wanting to see you in a good light. So this is also someone that may be into like dark work. They do a lot of mind manipulation, a lot of root magic, things like that. Uh, because they want people to feel disgusted by you when they meet you. They want people to feel repulsed, right? Even though you may be someone extremely beautiful, someone very nurturing, caring, dedicated to what you do, someone very mentally balanced as well. This person painted the absolute opposite about you to people and the truth is coming out. Um, this Queen of Wands is living in fear because... She is accustomed to a lifestyle that this masculine has provided her for a long time. So she's feeling that she needs to protect her her finances, quote unquote, her her resources and things like that, because this is how she sees this masculine as a source of income, right? So she's feeling like, oh, I need to protect what's mine. I need to protect my relationship. If he leaves me, I'm not going to have access to all of his money anymore, blah, 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 blah. Uh, honey, you're still going to be losing it because this person is closing a chapter with you. This masculine has decided to move forward. It's like being in a relationship with someone and it's just not fulfilling. But because you've been with the person for so long, you feel that, well, if I go to this person, I have to start over. I don't know what to expect from this other person. 
this and that for some of you this has to do with a career opportunity right and this is a career opportunity that's going to put you in a beautiful light make you independent right self-sufficient financially in every way you can think of this will be something that puts you in like a privileged lady energy right if you um when not if when you receive this opportunity the thing is that there is a queen of wands that's currently in the position that you are meant for for those of you where this has to do with work there's a queen of wands that's currently in this position and she has done a terrible job at handling this position because this is someone that's very superficial this is someone that's very vindictive very mean malicious uh just very egotistical uh this has to do with some type of spiritual work um something that has to do with being gifted things of that nature this person has been in this position for a long time but it's the people that she works with just are not benefiting they're not seeing the uh, um outcome that they wanted to see with this person uh and this person has kind of let this this title get to her head where she does not treat people with respect people with kindness at all this is someone that's void void of human emotions because all she cares about is money so this person is very much set on blocking you from receiving this opportunity this is because they know you are the truth you are the true high priestess you know what to do what to say you understand both physicality and spiritually uh i don't know if spiritual color no that's not a word i was about to make up a word but we're not going to do that today <laughs> This person knows that you are the truth and they are intimidated by you. They want to block you in every way, shape, or form. So this person is taking actions behind the scenes to block your work, block your voice, block you being being seen, block your connections and things like that. Yet you are still staying calm. It's that someone is doing a whole lot of malicious things behind the scenes to get you to act out of character, to break your confidence. Someone hits the fact that you are confident about yourself. You speak with confidence. You move with confidence. That is how you're supposed to be. Um, when people don't understand life in that type of way, that aspect of life or what true confidence is, they are intimidated by it and they fear it. So they feel like they have to shut it down so they will take actions and do things to block that or to make you feel lesser than even though you are someone amazing which every single one of you are absolutely amazing and you're supposed to walk around in confidence because that is what is right um so you are still balanced you're still taking courage to move forward you're closing this chapter with these crazy people because this queen of wands is not the only person that has been going up against you behind closed doors this is someone privileged and has a lot of money so she's been using her resources to have people block your forward movement and this is coming to an end okay this is these are things that she's been doing behind the scenes but hiding it but it's been exposed right this person may want to take action to come to you, pick a fight with you to get a reaction out of you. It's because this person wants to show someone whoever gave her this opportunity. She wants to show them that, hey, she's not who you think she is. This is what she is behind closed doors. This is what she said to me and this is what she did to me. But the whole time she's setting up the scenario. It's also like you being committed to your craft, your business, your job. But there's someone that hits the fact that you are a hard worker. You're a great worker so they start doing things behind the scenes to interfere with your work just so people can believe that you are not someone that's a good worker you're not committed to your craft when it's the quite when it's quite the opposite this is what this queen of wands has been dedicated to doing and she's been doing this for quite a while um but still it's that she doesn't realize she has wasted a lot of resources because she's been having to pay people to do the things that they've been doing to you behind the scenes um so at the end of the day all she's going to realize is that she lost a lot of resources and she may be going to prison for things that she did this person is mentally unstable emotionally unstable this person is unstable in every ship with in every way shape and form you can think of and this is because of the roots that she comes from this person could be someone that comes from like a toxic family dynamic i wouldn't be surprised if she uh learned all of these habits from a mother figure so 
It is quite possible that she and, uh, and her mother could be working behind the scenes to block your forward movement. Uh, they wanted to cause an ending for you, but you are closing this chapter in a beautiful way. Um, this person is wanting to, to take action to, comes to, work, to come towards you, but it's just not happening. Someone is afraid. Even though they want to confront you, they're still afraid of you because this person knows you don't even have to put your hands on them. All you have to do is tell them about themselves and they are done because this is someone extremely fragile but pretends to be confident okay so they know who to pick a fight with and who not to pick a fight with publicly um you are the type of person these kind of people pick a fight with from behind the scenes so they throw rocks and hide their hands but when it comes to facing you they cannot do that because they know you'll put them in their place immediately no if ands or buts about it right so this person may have been seeing you as a queen of cups which you are but they may have assumed because you were coming up as a queen of cups you will have been an easy prey to take down to destroy to end but it's not happening it's that someone would say i have all the money in the world to keep blocking you to keep undercutting you to keep manipulating people and the battle has gone on to become a war and the war has gone on for so long this queen of wands is exhausted she's down facing legal consequences people are seeing the truth about her things are not going the way she planned or anticipated so now she wants to make it that you are in the wrong you're the one that did something to her when you never did anything to her a lot of you you don't even know this woman let's put this out there for a lot of you you don't even know this woman you've never met her never spoke to her, never seen her, but this is just someone that saw you and knew that you were the truth, you were the light, you are the star sea, you're someone of the light, you are respectful of your gifts, you don't misuse them, you are respectful of people's privacy and things like that. And immediately she was intimidated by you and felt the need to put a stop to your forward movement and now is hunting her. This is someone that could be like in the public eye for some of you, like a celebrity. And people may see her in a light of, oh, she's energetic, she's uh, so kind, she's a sweetheart, but this is someone that is quite the opposite behind closed doors um this is someone that does a lot of wicked things behind closed doors to interfere with other people's movement and she does this because she's not genuine with her craft she may not even know what it is she's doing or if she does know what she's doing she uses it for maliciousness this could also be someone that has some type of creativity block She's not creative in any way. Um, this is like you know the difference between the suburbs, the suburb children and the who children. Who children that they, they know the book and the practicality of the skill. The suburb children they just have the educational aspect of the skill, so they don't really. It's like someone being skilled, but you being gifted and skilled. So you are naturally gifted, but she's not. She's skilled. That she knows. Let, okay, let's use tarot for a second. So this type of person, they can sit here and read what the card is telling them. But beyond the cards, there's nothing else. They're not able to access any other information, right? So they're limited. But because they know that you have both aspects, you are not just skilled, you're gifted. They are intimidated by that. They hate you for that, basically, right? They are angry. Because someone sees you as just not just beautiful, but you're intelligent, you're gifted, you're like everything, you're a powerhouse in one. So they are intimidated by that. So they feel like, well, if people see her, I'm going to lose all of my customers. I'm going to lose all of my connections, all of my opportunities to her. So why don't I just, before she even gets to a certain point, I'm going to start blocking her. So this is what this person has been doing for a long time, but it is being put, it is being ended. There's an end being put to it right uh, so this person assumed because you were a queen of cups that they could just come in and you know you know flick you off like go away or something but they're finding out that that's not the truth that like you have stood your ground like your ancestors told you to this person has been up against you for a long time, but you stood your ground just like you were supposed to. You are receiving help in from, from hitting places and hitting people. So this person has been doing this for so long that people have caught on to what they've been doing that people are now starting to say, wait, hold on. This is just not normal. This is like you're having a social platform and you've been pulling out beautiful content, 
just amazing content for a long time and it's just not going anywhere and people are like now what the heck is going on like this person produces amazing content why is his or her content not going anywhere so people start looking into it and then they find out oh people are messing with this content behind this platform behind the scenes they're blocking you this is why you can't uh succeed it says someone as soon as you're about to go viral, they'll do something to block it. It's like they have connections with these social media platforms where they can reach out to them and tell them, hey, block this person, uh, tell a lie and be like, she's stealing my content, he's stealing my content. But you're not really stealing from anyone. You are the one producing the content. Someone may be regurgitating what you are doing, but saying that it is theirs originally and you're stealing, but that's not the truth. Um, but this person has connections, right? And they've been using these connections to block you, but it's being ended. This chapter is over. This person is uh, experiencing some type of ending. For those of you that this has to do with a relationship, this masculine is just done with her and she wants to come in, pretend to speak some type of truth. This person may want to tell you, oh, please don't sue me. You know, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I did that. Honey, sue them. Sue them. Okay, if you can sue, sue them. Okay, because who knows if they had not messed with your platform, your work, how much income you will have made from that. You have family possibly to take care of. You got you got bills to pay. We all have bills to pay out here. And how dare you try to stop someone else's forward movement and then want to come to them and tell them not to sue you. Honey, that is a ground for suing. We are going to sue. Okay. Anyways, and this person knows that you are someone that's not with the BS. And, and I mean that you don't put up with stuff like that. So when they come towards you, you automatically are going to be having them to cut the crap out. Like, say what you have to say. But if you said the wrong thing, I'm going to give it to you heavy. So you are a queen of cups with a sword. You are a sweetheart with a sword. Okay? You're still in on the karma waters, which is what this person did not want for you. You are moving on with your life, okay? Someone here may want to be on a run. Someone may want to escape something, try to travel overseas, travel to another state, whatever it is. Honey, you're not going anywhere anytime soon. You're going to be facing your legal consequences. You will be going to jail. You're, whoever was working with you, they're going to be facing consequences as well alongside with you. It's going to be to the D and to the dumb in the prison cell together. Queen of Cups, you are moving on with your life. You're still in under calmer waters. You're about to be seen in the light that is yours truly, okay? You're going to be seen as the truth. You're someone pure, kind-hearted, very nurturing. Uh, you're a blessing to have around. And someone may want to do business with you as well. There's a Queen of King of Swords that may be wanting to do business with you, or you may have options between a few masculines that are interested in you. They want to either work with you or have some type of relationship with you. And things like this intimidate people like this because you're someone, Queen of Cups, you don't have to be nude. You don't have to be provocative and things like that to get the attentions of men. When men are around you, they know you're genuine and they want to be with you because of that genuine nature that you have. They're also seeing you as someone that's a, 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 a blessing to have around, right? Because you're someone that's gifted and intuitive. So you can help these masculines in ways that women like this cannot help. Women like this are just there to take away from them whereas you are there to contribute to build with them to grow with them so someone may be waiting for a good time to come towards you and give you this offer maybe they try giving you this offer and people have been interfering with it maybe blocking communications email text messages phone calls things like that uh, your communications has been being interfered with in some type of way shape or form um, and this masculine is maybe coming up or whoever it is because I see the queen, a king of wands out here as well it's coming up with a creative way to come towards you and make this offer. Um, so you, this person is financially stable and they know about some type of finance that's supposed to be given to you or this person may just want to give you some type of finance to get you out of a fender bender that you are in. Um, they want to give you an offer. This is an offer that is meant for you, a contract, right? You and this person have a soul contract together. 
right? So they know that this opportunity belongs to you and they are going to give it to you. There's been some type of stagnation here and this is because of this woman and other people behind the scenes blocking and interfering with this connection. Someone here has, has been uh, being get kept, like gatekeeping. You have been being uh, get kept. Is that a thing, gate kept? Gatekeeping has been taking a place here for a while on your part and on his part so you are have not been able to communicate with one another when he sends you an email or a text message someone is deleting it or forwarding it or in some way shape or form it's being blocked so you're not receiving your messages like you're supposed to maybe this masculine is not aware but hopefully he will become aware of that and know that there are people around him as well that are blocking him um so there is some type of message you can receive something you are working working on as well it's going to tick up extremely fast for you and it's going to be something people really enjoy people enjoy listening to you and just conversating with you being around you being in your energy because you are a star see you are beautiful you have a beautiful energy about you you bring life into people you nurture wherever you are when you are around this growth whereas the other people when they are around things things seem to die off right but you bring life uh, where there's where there's no life and people appreciate this about you you are manifesting something beautiful whatever this offer is that's coming to you is going to lead to some type of collaboration or union this could very well be your twin this king of wands uh, this is a business owner that i'm seeing that may be interested in you something i'm also seeing about this king of wands is that he could be naturally a king of swords but this person has passion for you right and they are taking the strength to come towards you they're taking action to come towards you to make you an offer this could have been someone that is very stoic uh, it's more so on the intellectual side, whereas you are a queen of cups and you are more so on the intuitive and spiritual side. And you bring a side of this masculine out that is a little different. Um, but maybe he appreciates this about you because the people around him has never been able to do that. I'm watching my time because I don't want to go too far because in these videos take forever to upload. Um, but you two are going to be manifesting a new reality where you'll be building businesses together. There's something about this uh, king of wands you need to be mindful of this person could be like a ladies man but maybe they'll try to they'll learn how to put that on hold for you so you two can be uh, able to manifest this new reality and relationship together but this masculine there is something about like oh something with women he loves women a lot but this is someone that has a lot of pa passion um, for you though just good luck with that honey have a blessed day